Hello everyone, this is Darko2012 from Global Government News and I'm reading an article uh, titled Full Body Scanners Increase Cancer Risk and this was uh, originally um, published by No World System on December 6th, uh, 2010. Actually they have that wrong, I just noticed that it's January 6th, 2010. Um, but it's not too long of an article, it's, that's it. I'm just going to read it though for you and leave my comment because uh, these full body scanners uh, they're not only um, uh, they not, they don't only they not only invade your privacy, but they're also a health risk. You know, I was reading a comment that somebody left, and um, it's not looking too good as far as like uh, the radiation exposure and that. Um, the extra high frequencies, like they have the extra low frequencies, all you know, um, extra low frequencies, like the uh, wireless uh, towers that are emitting, uh, bombarding you with. Uh, on a daily basis um, these are like that except they're like super high and I mean, just imagine you're going inside these things and you're going to be directly exposed to it at a close-up you know proximity so um, it's just another thing man we're getting attacked all from all angles 360 degrees with cancer dude so you guys need to watch out for this damn cancer it's freaking everywhere man um, there are two types of scanners we will have to endure at the airport. The millimeter wave scanner and the backscatter uh, x-ray scanner. Both emit high energy radiation and are dangerous. Body scanners have revolutionized the practice of medicine and have saved many lives. But we must question the government's mandate to have people endure high energy radiation in a non-life-threatening uh, situation. Uh, we must protest the use of full body scanners on children and young adults as they are a greater risk of developing brain tumors and cancer from these machines. Like I was saying, the cell phones, uh, you know, every every month, uh, there's, you know, if not every month, every couple months, there's a uh, study that comes out that says there's a link between uh, cell phones and brain tumors uh, slash cancer. And then the government and the establishment, New World Order uh, funded uh, studies will come out after that and to basically try to discredit any uh, legitimate research that was done uh, as far as the correlation goes uh, with cancer and cell phones. Um, but it says uh, cancer and tumors, especially in the young, will likely increase as uh, body scanners, as more body scanners are being installed on a nationwide scale. There is just no safe dose of radiation. 50% of American uh, Americans' cancers are radiation-induced. People with medical implants, such as pacemakers, should also avoid electromagnetic pulse generating body scanners as they can significantly alter the waveform of the pacemaker pulse. The millimeter wave scanners emit a wavelength of 10 to 1 millimeters uh, called a millimeter wave. These waves are considered extremely high uh, frequency EHF, the highest radio frequencies uh, waves produced. Uh, EHF runs a range of frequencies from 30 to 300 gigahertz. They are also abbreviated uh, MMW, millimeter waves. These waves are also known as uh, tetrahertz radiation. Uh, the force generated from tetrahertz waves is small, but the waves can unzip or tear apart double-stranded DNA, creating bubbles in the DNA that could interfere with processes such as gene expression and DNA replication which is uh, all of us that uh, are aware of the eugenics being carried out on the po world population um, they we understand that DNA is at the forefront uh, of the elites and that is what they want to fuck with when it comes to us and our individuality our sovereignty right our own property is our body and we all know well we don't all know but if you don't know you know now if you're 36 years and younger, your DNA has been uh, sent off and stored into a database and, pa and has a, a patent on it. So you do not own your DNA. It is patented by some uh, super, uh, super ownership um, from, you know, it's not good stuff. But I'm going to keep moving on here, and I just want to say that, uh, that your DNA is sacred to you, and... Uh, they're going after it, and they want to do anything they can to modify it, and manipulate it, to, um, because they're eugenicists, and eugenicists is um, is evolution through self determination, and they determine evolution. So, 
uh, and everything goes with the GMO and all that. But uh, moving on here. Clothing and organic materials are translucent in most millimeter wave bands, perfect for detecting metal objects on subjects at airports, but not so great at picking up low-density materials such as plastic, chemicals, or liquids, uh, which were some of the items used by the underwear bomber. Uh, Full-body x-ray scanners provide exceptionally clear views of subjects by combining data from multiple images, but increased exposure to x-rays can also cause mutation in DNA, leading to cancer. X-rays are considered ionizing penetrating radiation. Ionizing radiation in any dose causes genetic mutations, which set all living cells exposed on the path to cancer. Cancers associated with high dose exposure include leukemia, breast, uh, bladder, colon, liver, lung, esophagus, ovarian, multiple uh, melioma, uh, prostate, nasal cavity, sinuses, um, uh, I can't pronounce this, but uh, pharyngeal, uh, uh, laryngeal, and um, uh, pancreatic and stomach cancers. Whole body scans of healthy people will create more problems than they solve by exposing healthy people to radiation. Uh, the risk for radiation overexposure may be small for a small uh, for a single subject, but the number uh, the number of subject exposed to the airport body scans will increase the risk uh, by the millions. In other words, as you keep going through these things, uh, it's only going to get worse the more exposure you have. And people who uh, who have careers that you know they need to travel a lot, these are the uh, people that are going to be exposed the most and uh, more likely to. Um, to contract cancer, or, you know, or get cancer from this radiation exposure. A normal CT scan of the chest is the equivalent of about 100 uh, chest x-rays. Some scanners are equivalent of 440 conventional x-rays. God! The traditional x-ray machine detects hard and soft materials by the variation in transmission through the target. The backscatter x-ray detects the radiation that reflects back from the target. Several studies have suggested that people have been unnecessarily exposed to radiation from CTs, uh, that's CAT scans, or yeah, I think that's CAT, scan, CAT scans, or have received uh, excessive amounts of radiation. A person undergoing uh, a backscatter scan receives approximately uh, 0 0.005 to uh, 0 0.009 uh, millirems of radiation. Uh, 0.1 MREM per year is a negligible dose of radiation, and 25 uh, MREMs per year from a single source is the upper limit of safe radiation exposure. Widespread overuse of body scanners and variations in radiation caused by different machines could subject many to radiation doses that could ultimately lead to thousands of new cancer cases and deaths. And if you know about population control, uh, like I said uh, earlier, eugenics, then you know that this um, serves uh, multiple purposes. It not only um, uh, you know helps people, more people get cancer. There won't be a, there won't just be an explosion of cancer uh, uh, deaths and uh, cancer rates uh, after these things are mandated, but it also does what. It's uh, invading your privacy, and then uh, another thing is, is it, it conditions the public um, to basically be treated like cattle. Um, so uh, there's there's a little bit of everything, and there's mind control, there's eugenics, there's Big Brother, um, and it's not going to do anything to keep you safer. And these people that are in the, working for the TSA, they're going to be around these things too. And I'm just going to go on a limb here, people, and say that if you're working around these things, you're not even going in them. You're, uh, th you could, you could have, there could be a possibility where you, you're going to be exposed to this radiation as well. So uh, when you're laughing and smirking and 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 forcing these poor souls to go through here just to get from point E to point B. Um, just you know, you know too, know uh, yourself that you're being, you could possibly be get, uh, getting cancer from these things. So, um, thanks for checking out this uh, story, everybody. Um, I'm gonna keep posting more, more stories on these uh, body scanners because I don't like them. They're dangerous, and they invade our privacy and treat us like slaves. So, uh, thanks for checking it out again, and leave your comments.